The Cool Contraption Guy with Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazines, presents... Everyone sees spots before their eyes. I'm Dr. Kill Patient from the Board of Health. Where's the contaminated rabbit at? Oh, I'm greatly gratified to see you, Doctor. Okay, okay, where's he at? He's right in here someplace. before my eyes. Spots? Mm, that's bad. Spots. Mm. Voice symptom of rabbititis. And just because you see spots doesn't necessarily mean you have rabbititis or anything else wrong with your eyes. Many years ago, I remember laying on the grass looking up at a perfectly clear blue cloudless sky. As I stared at the sky for some time, I started to notice something. The sky seemed to have texture. If I looked very, very carefully, I could see what appeared to be extremely small dots of blue. While all the dots seemed bluish, the darkness of the blue seemed to vary with each dot. If my eyes strayed to a small cloud that formed, these dots appeared to evaporate. Recently, I mentioned this experience to my middle daughter, and she said when she was young, she noticed about the same thing when she looked at the clear blue sky. She also mentioned she became a bit frightened that something was wrong with her eyes. By the way, my daughter has had her eyes tested several times in her life, and she has at least 20-20 vision and doesn't wear glasses. If you want to check this out for yourself, pick a day with a clear blue sky and no clouds. Also, you will likely have to concentrate on the sky for over a minute in order for the tiny little dots to be noticed. Before I go into my hypothesis of the origin of these dots, let's take a quick look at how an eye functions. In this very simplified diagram of the eye, we see that the eye consists of a lens which focuses the image of the object we look at onto our retina, which is the light sensitive area of the eye which the image falls upon, while the top of the image actually focuses on the bottom of the retina, like this. This is important since our brain simply flips it around so we don't get confused. The retina consists of about 120 million light-sensitive rod cells and 7 million light-sensitive cone, cone cells. Only the cone cells can differentiate color. Those with color blindness are either missing cones or some or all the cones are defective. If you compare an eye to a digital camera, notice both have a lens. Also, both have a light-sensitive region consisting of millions of extremely small light-sensitive areas which we can call light-sensitive dots. Eyes have a retina consisting of about 127 million light sensitive cells and digital cameras of from 1 million to around 100 million extremely small light sensitive dots which are in the charge couple devices, CCD light detector. The information from our retina travels down the optic nerve to our brain which makes sense of the information. In a digital camera, the information from the CCD is stored in the card's flash memory. Here is a photo of apple blossoms taken with a 12 megapixel digital camera. The individual pixels aren't obvious in this photo, but if we use Coral Photo Paint software to blow up the photo like this, we can easily see the individual pixels which are very roughly analogous to your eyes, rods, and cones light sensing cells, which I believe are the source of the teeny weeny dots many people can see when looking carefully at a clear blue sky.